It would seem if we are on the outside looking in that in order to maintain a global stability, in order to maintain the lives of people on the planet, in order to stave off nuclear war, we, the Western powers, must let the Russians create the new Iron Curtain, must surrender Ukraine as a sacrificial lamb, and must understand that this is the way the world is going to move forward in order for everybody to survive. Okay, let me tell you my vision. It could probably be your vision. You know, it's 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 an. I point. hope it's not. <laughs> well, I hope. Well, 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 I know. I hope. Well, I hope it's point. But it's a, but it's an apt point. You know, it has logic to it. Me, my way, I look at it. I won't see. I, I won't talk about an iron curtain like before the Warsaw Pact and the and the and the net. I'll speak about sphere of influence. This is how the world is gonna move. A sphere of influence. Listen, we respect each other. Don't go into my territory. Don't do things in my territories that will affect my policy. And I won't do the same in your territories. This is how I think, you know, it's going to work out. And I think this is where still the, 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 the whole region, as a matter of fact, with China and with Russia, it's fluid. We don't know how to respond. We don't know how to still, not that we don't know. We don't know how to, you know, what policy should we take? What kind of a new world order we are planning? This is all, as a matter of fact, today is under discussion. Uh, this is what I think myself. But on the other hand, I agree with the general. We should support the Ukrainian uh, because the Ukrainian, the more they have a stiff resistance, the more they will reduce the demands of Putin. Mainly that Putin at the end of the day will say, OK, let me compromise more. But to say that Putin is going to withdraw, is going to be defeated right there in Ukraine, I say it's difficult for me. This is a no-win situation. And this is where I agree, as a matter of fact, the point is here today, how to prevent more death. It's 40 million people there. You have now a good number are becoming refugees. Uh, you know, you have a lot of people are fighting. So really, and, and Putin is going to use, he's going to throw the whole thing at them, especially if he's cornered. You know, he's going to do that. Now, I think that this is where I would like to see a certain compromise. And, and really the compromise, what, what I mentioned, you know, Ukraine or Kiev, it's not that it's going to be, well, 100% pro-Russia. No, it will be some kind of a neutral. Are we talking about a know, coalition and, government? And, 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 well, 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 as a matter of fact, this is, this is what I think myself. The more stiff resistance they do, the more they are going to have a better way of negotiating with Putin. You know what I mean? So, so be, listen. Ed, there is something here. Putin doesn't want to go into quagmire similar to that of Afghanistan. In order to do that, he has to do two things. Either he's going to raise to the ground Kiev and Ukraine, something I think he might do, but I think he won't because if he's going to face stiff resistance and it's going to take a long time, or he's going to say, listen, okay, I achieved some of my ob objectives. The, 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 the U.S. is going to promise me it's not going to be involved in Ukraine. It's not going to be involved in the politics here. Ukraine has informed me that they are not going to be part of NATO. Let me compromise with them. It, is it more so likely is then that in, in order to, to get to where we're going here, that NATO will then decide we will not bring Ukraine into the fold? The European Union may. And again, that's going to take years. It, it doesn't happen think, automatically, think, no matter what think anybody Ukraine thinks. Might be I think Ukraine might be in the future with EU, but not, but, but not, but not NATO. NATO. No. NATO will no, then no. have to say no to no, Ukraine, NATO, regardless of anything that happens. And they will then have to allow the Russian government some form of a coalition yes. effect in what's happening in Ukraine, which basically creates that sort of created government, which is not entirely free, but still is under the sphere of influence of, of Moscow. Yes. Red line, red line for, for uh, Putin and any leader they will not accept. Ukraine and NATO, period. Neither Ukraine nor Georgia. These two things. They, won't, will, they won't accept them. Let's just they say that that happens. As a neutral state, as a neutral state, listen, you know, they will be in the shadow of Russia, but not, you know, 100% shadow. You know, neutrals, they will go and compromise, especially with the stiff resistance. Zelensky, as a matter of fact, he emerged as a strong leader, a lot of passion, you know, really fighting his way around. 
you know, you have a lot of support for the Ukrainian from the world. Even Switzerland, as a matter of fact, you know, has joined, uh, you know, the, the, the allies, you know, as you know, you know things country. are really different in the world when when you piss Switzerland off. OK, that never happens. <laughs> Yeah, it really, you know, and I think that Putin, he never expected that even Switzerland, you know, is going to go and join, uh, you know, the allies. So are we uh, looking then the at, at a, are we perhaps looking at a future where if we get to that point where there is no NATO in Ukraine and the government will have to change, let's just say even that Putin allows Zelensky to stay in power, are we not facing the possibility then that Russian influence, either by cyber crimes or individuals that are placed in the government, that he will then try to undermine the free government of Ukraine to try and then have uh, puppets from Russia and Moscow elected there, that he will create the, the foment, the, the, the insurrection, if you will, between the people there, and he will try to then get a, a legal sense, if you will, control of the government in some way, shape, or form to split it down the middle from being completely free. It's a possibility, Ed. You know, these are variable. It's a possibility. I think myself is going to agree on a compromise. He's going to agree also because the Russians, you have a good number of Russians. They are not happy with what's going on. So Putin, again, he has to look, okay, you know, even my position in Russia has become a little bit, you know, not that steady. So, so he has to take really a, a sober, sober look. You know, the West, NATO, Ukraine, and Russia itself, and of course, his relationship with China. Let's not forget, he is going to be the junior, and already he is a junior partner in that strategic cooperation. Already they have a strategic cooperation between Russia and China.